Nothing like a Sonic.ey X popsicle with Trolley Piccio eyes. This wrapper was actually designed by a friend of mine called Happy Ashura. Let's open it. Check it out. The one eye. Sonic.UIX Popsicle 3D printed For this one I just used the regular Sonic Popsicle But without the gumball eyes And painted it myself The only thing I didn't design was the wrapper It was actually the one wrapper That someone else designed for me All the rest Were designed by me and actually, I've updated this wall. Not only have I added more popsicles to it, but I've also updated the wrappers. So when I originally made these characters, for some of them, I was just too lazy to design like a brand new wrapper. And I just used the same one. Like for example, for this one right here. However, I've updated some of them. The Tails EXE one, the Dark Spine Sonic one, the Super Sonic one. I've even added the extra characters on the side like this. Um, even the Dark Sonic, Metal Sonic, and also you notice I've added the Angry Sonic Bird popsicle as well. This is a brand new one. Last time I had the 3D printed model, but now I've got the wrapper. Because back then I just couldn't be bothered designing the wrapper. Here's a new wrapper as well for this one. I've also added the Sonic X popsicle and a couple of classic ones. These are actually official wrappers from Blue Bunny. And actually, I did end up designing a new wrapper for Fleetway Sonic. However, I actually figured it actually looks better like that, in my opinion. So what do you think? Like that? Or like that? Ah, there we go. There's the Sonic EYX one right there. And the only new pop score I made in 2024 was the shadow from Sonic Movie 3. And this one is extra unique. You know why? Because this is the first AI popsicle that I generated. This is an AI 3D image. Didn't require any work whatsoever to design it. Just had to 3D print it and paint it. Would you look at that? Now with all these other popsicles, I just did a cheap design and paint 3D. Um, that's the only software I knew how to use. And for some of them, I actually paid people to make them. Of course, this one was made by Minty Fries, the YouTuber. He also made this one and this one. And he's made a few of these other characters. This one over here, I actually paid like a huge amount of money to get it professionally made by someone on Fiverr. And I did a good job. Look at that. This is a properly designed popsicle, unlike my other ones. But now I don't have to pay any money to get these designed. I don't have to design them myself. I can just use AI, like this minion one. However, this one didn't turn out so good. And also don't forget that all my pop schools were given away over two years ago to Brent TV, the pop school guy. So unfortunately I don't actually have a physical copy of all these pop schools. And there he is down there in the corner, Brent TV. The guy known for opening SpongeBob pop schools. But of course, my Sonic pop schools were around before he blew up on YouTube. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. 
I know I've actually made a video on this one in the past. However, I didn't have a physical popsicle. All I had was the wrapper. And I couldn't be bothered making the popsicle because I just made a stupid video of like where I got this from a vending machine. And that was like a year ago. And now we finally have the physical copy of this popsicle. So, thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. Shout out to Happy Spongebob for designing me this Sonic.EYX Popsicle Wrapper with Trolley Pichio's eyes. Well, just one of them. Yeah. It's a good design. But unfortunately, 